Hi. Today, I'm working on a shovel, not a car. Well, this little spade shovel one day when I was using it, busted on me. It snapped from here all the way up to here. Sheared right in half. I don't have a picture of that to share, but you can use your imagination as you look at where the glue is. Now, in order to repair this, I clamped it together dry and drilled three holes through the wood. Then I set up the glue and tapped in snug fit these dowels that I, I used. I cut them and clamped it all back together. I did this part about last week and I left it for the week to dry and so here it is dry. Today I'm going to take off the clamps, I'm going to trim the dowels, sand them down, sand off all the, the excess glue, and then I'm going to use a little extra thing I'll talk about later. I'm going to trim off these dowels flush against here so it'll be easy to sand down of course. And I'm charging up the battery for my little DeWalt saber saw. And I'll show you a neat little trick. On these things, you can take, I'll do it this way. You can take them and slide them right in, clamp it, and then move it a bit. And that gives you, good. It's a loose fit but there's a little pin inside that holds on to the, the other hole that's right there. And as long as I don't push hard or do anything, I should be able to use that to cut it off real trim. So I'm using the, uh, the hacksaw blade to make a really smooth cut. This is an old hacksaw blade, so it doesn't really matter if I break it or not. So now I just gotta wait for the battery to finish charging. The battery pack is finally charged. Put it in there. And let's give it a try. I'll run it at regular speed for now and then we'll speed up the film so you don't have to watch me. But this will give you an idea on how long this would take. And that does it. Okay. Next part of the project is to take this. And this is just for my own purpose. But sand down the rough edges. Oh well, as you can see. The paper ripped because it would had been used on another project. So I'll leave this glue around here. It's not really going to make much of a difference. It feels strong, but of course you can't tell until you go to work on it. But <clears throat> when I said I'm going to use this, another product, this is the stuff right here. We're going to see if this works. I saw this on a YouTube video once. Um, and, uh, then I ran across it in Home Depot when I was tinkering around in there. So I decided, well, let's give it a shot. Because, I mean, right here on the back, it shows how it can be used to fix a shovel. <laughs> and all these other products and projects and little things there. Oh, look, it fix a rake. Here's the product. Instructions are on the product. It says, put the gloves on. So they provide you with some gloves. That's kind of nice. You can open them. There we go. <laughs> so one use black gloves. Hmm.
Time to read the instructions. <laughs> I have no idea what that long strip is. <clears throat> Oh, some sandpaper. A little bit of 80 grit sandpaper. Okay, on here. Package contains one pair of gloves, one square of sandpaper, one black vinyl strip, and the fiber fix pouch. Step one prepare the surface by cleaning the area. Around the break, sand glossy or smooth surfaces. Surfaces if repairing a pipe hose, turn off the water flow. Put on your gloves, step two. Step three, open fiber pouch and submerge in room temperature water for five seconds. Step four, fiber fix does not adhere the same way as a traditional tape. Wrap the first layers with care to prevent slipping. Subsequent layers should be wrapped more tightly. Use the entire roll of fiber fix, getting at least six wraps over the brake and two to four inches of support on both sides of the brake. These have little things on here that says you can watch the videos. <clears throat> watch the videos at fiberfix.com. If you choose to do that, go right ahead. After wrapping the fiber fix around the brake, wrap the vinyl strip tightly over fiber fix to compress the layers together. This provides a better seal. Wait 10 to 15 minutes to allow fiber fix to fully cure. Remove black vinyl strip. And then the little thing says fiber fixed. Little shovel goes to work. Oh well. Let's, uh, let's follow the instructions and see what happens. So, according to this step, tear the thing open. That's what it looks like. It's uh, it's a gooey material. It says submerge it for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, give or take. Okay. Drop. Put this down so I don't accidentally knock it off on me. And now we wrap. And since it's been wet, it does not appear to be sticky to itself. But I'm wrapping it around pretty tight. <laughs> I hope there's enough for this. I think I'll go to about there and start heading back. I'm glad they gave gloves because this is sticky. I have no idea how hard it would be to get it off my bare fingers. There's actually more on here than I thought there would be. So that's up oh, here we go. It's starting to fold over on itself. Alrighty. After wrapping, take this stuff. Wrap around it. I'm not trying to do it without a glove on because this has absolutely no adhesive on it. It's just supposed to be wrapped around nice and tight. Just we'll like that. Sit there for 10 to 15 minutes. Give that a try. 
I set this out in the sunlight for more than the duration of time it said to keep it out there. And I'm kind of okay. Grabbing it with a bare hand. It's not sticky anymore. It's very dried. It's cured, as it says. <laughs> well, it looks like it should work. So remember at the beginning of the video, I have this split. It went crack from here down to here. I drilled holes before I took the video, punched through the dowels, had it all glued together, clamped it up, and then finished it by wrapping it in this fiber fix stuff. Now, of course, the easy way would have been to drill out or somehow remove this rivet, pull it out, out with the old, in with the new, new rivet, screw, however you put it back in. I mean, a, a handle like this isn't too terribly expensive, but this was an excuse to do some fun tinker man stuff. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and if, uh, if you haven't run across this fiber fix stuff before, See if you can find it at your local uh, hardware or home improvement store. Alrighty, take care.